Hey, 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 people, it's Monday. So how is everyone? Hope everyone is all good. Had a good weekend. Weather was lovely, wasn't it? So it was a hot one, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. It was a very good weekend. So before I get into what I've been doing last week, I just want to show you how big Oscar has got it now. So remember when I, I'll, I'll bring up a quick picture of what he used to, when we first did the vlog with him in it. And here we have his Oscar. Look at him. Got an all big now he has. From that little thing, from that little thing that we had many, many, about 15, 16 weeks ago when you could just fit into my hand. Look at him now, he's getting into a proper big little cat now he is. So that's little Oscar that is now. You wanna say something? No? All right. So I had a great week doing all my videos, finally getting them all sorted out, getting them all done. It was great to have the time to do them. You know, I don't like, I don't like rushing any of my videos, um, but it was great to, you know, spend the time doing them, got them all out on time, you know, I worked my ass off on them, so it was really good. So the first one I put up was my Zentangle video that came out on the Wednesday. I did something different this time. I was doing a jester, so I was drawing within a jester's hat. If you missed the video, here's a quick little preview of it. that I love the music in that one that Spanish music and I think that was absolutely brilliant in that video then my next video video finally got it got it out was my Mike Tyson video that came out on the Thursday here's a quick little snip of that one too something different with the music on that one I did a bit, a bit, a bit of a, uh, a techno beat onto that that music was provided by a mate of mine called Freak Unique uh, he's on he's on Facebook he's got some brilliant tracks if you're into your techno music any of that sort of techno trance music check him out there's a link in the description down below there is and on the Friday I uploaded my ASMR video got the uh, I did the uh, drawing of the Lord of the Rings map really cool video came out really well if you didn't watch it has a quick little sneak peek of that one as well these videos that um each of these videos that i'm putting up there's links in that corner there so each time i'm putting up these videos going to be a link in there so if you want to watch the whole video that's where all the links are there just click on those links and you get you'll get put straight through to those uh, videos this week how i'm going to be sorting out my website I need to get that sorted out this week so i've got plenty of time to be doing that i need to totally do a complete makeover on that one and there's, there's a there's a lesson that i've seen on my um on, there's a lesson i've seen on my course that deals with websites and one of the people they've they go through it bit by bit on how to change your website around and the bits that you need to add to it most of the stuff that i've already added to it already but what i'm going to do is look into that video a little bit more i'm going to probably that to, i've got i've got a class to do in a little while i have so i've got a lesson to do there and i've probably I've got my commission to do as well so once i finish that commission off i'll then start doing my I'll, hopefully i'm gonna get that commission off finished off today Definitely going to want to get that finished off today. So once I've done this video, I'm going to get myself all sorted out. Then do that. Uh, then do that commission. Then start working on my website. Need to get that one done as well. Like I was saying, I've got to sort that out. I'm going to watch those videos of on my um, courses that I'm going to do that I've been doing. I'm well up to date on my um, courses now as well. Finally caught up with them. So now I'm on the second part of my course now as well. So I finally caught up with that. Got, I'm going to be doing that this week too. So. I'm, all the time that I've got going on here, you know, I'm, I'm putting straight into this course and into this art career and everything. So that's what I'm completely doing, going full in with it all. Also as well, I need to start on my other flower for my collection as well. So as you know, I'm doing the Seven Deadly Sins flower collection. I basically, I've, what I've done now, I've based now every flower up with a sin now. And I just need to research the uh, the, the photos for them. I probably might, might take the pictures myself. If I can find the right flower 
um, that I'm looking that I've written down that I'm looking for in particular. If I can find that, I'll photograph it myself. If not, I'll look on the internet and do my research in finding those flowers. The idea of it is going to be absolutely brilliant. I've I've paste, I've I've linked up every scene to a flower. If you saw my original picture of what it looked like with the rose and the red background, that was lust. I've got all the others to go through. Each one is going to be represented by a flower and also by the scene is also going to be represented by the colour as well. So as you saw on the lust one that I did with the rose, the, the glow in the background was red. So I will be doing the different colours for each each scene as well for that background too. So when you look at all seven pictures together, it's going to look really cool in a line up in your room, in your bedroom, anywhere like that. It's going to look really cool on the walls. Once I've got a full collection going on up there, there's going to be a proper website link to that where you'll be able to purchase and buy any of those prints. Not only that as well though, but obviously as you heard, I'm also doing commissions as well. So I'm also going to be doing adverts for pet portraits that I should be drawing for people. I'm doing the one at the moment, drawing a dog at the moment for someone. And yeah, I'll be doing pet portraits too. All of that stuff is going to come up on my website as I start to develop it and uh, do a complete makeover on my website. All those stuff will be coming up on there with all the links provided when I start doing all of that. You know, I'll give you more information on it. As the weeks and doing as well i've been writing up loads so once i've done this collection i've got another few more collections that i've got already written down so i'm already way ahead i've got i mean i have about two three probably about three about three collections already sorted out to start drawing as well so i've got i've got a lot a lot of stuff to be doing so that's what i keep so that's what I, that's what i like to do i don't once i've started something i always like to think well what i'm going to do once i finish this project to think up my next one as well and I've already got about two three four projects already in the in the making I've written them all down everything I do gets written down now I did start writing things down digitally to remind myself on things but you know what it didn't work at all you know even though I kept them coming up I think I find it better with I'm just old school I you know, pen a bit of pen and paper and I'm all right with all my uh writing everything down all my notes things that I need to do which was going to come up that's going to come up in my um little quote for this when once i finished all this that's my little quote it's actually not a quote it's going to be actually seven tips of how to wake of seven tips of waking up early and having a productive day so tip number one get at least seven to eight hours sleep at least seven to eight hours sleep get that you know you need some good quality time to rest up and your body will be full nicely relaxed and you won't feel so groggy when you wake up in the morning tip number two Set everything up the night before. I've said this one many a times. Like my Malcolm X quote, it was, tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Get your stuff done the night before. Write a to-do list. Get your bag prepared for the night before. Get your work clothes ready the night before as well. You won't be so rushing around, losing your mind, wondering what to do in the mornings. Tip number three, visualise the morning that you want. Imagine waking up fully refreshed, fully energised, ready for the day jumping straight out of bed. Tip number four, optimize your alarms. Get yourself a new alarm clock, place it on the other side of the room. Don't leave it hanging around by your bed because it's too easy to hit that snooze button. Tip number five, smile first thing. Fake it until you make it. <laughs> Tip number six, head straight to the bathroom. Get that muscle memory going as that whenever you wake up in the morning, you head straight to turn off that alarm clock and head straight to that bathroom. Get into the muscle memory of it, doing that pattern, following that routine, rather than turning off the alarm and heading straight to the bed. Get your, get your mind and memory thinking that, you know what, as soon as that alarm goes off, I'm, that's where I'm heading straight away. And tip number seven, drink a glass of water. Nothing more than a glass of water in the morning just to wake you up and get your body ready for the day. That was my seven tips for waking up early and creating yourself a productive day. I'm Romeo Sketches, and that's my beliefs. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and turn on notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Everybody have a good week, and I'll see you next Monday. Peace out, everyone.